Ronna McDaniel ha- holds on to her chairmanship of the Republican Party uh, by a whopping total of what were the numbers? 111 to 54. Harmeet Dillon only received 54 votes. Mike Lindell, four votes. This is proof to me that the Republican establishment is dug in. Don't tell me they're out of touch. So you tell me they're out of touch. That implies ignorance. They're not ignorant about anything. They're reading the same chat boards. They're getting the same emails that I'm reading. I will literally post something about this race when I was supporting Harmeet Dillon. There was not one comment, not one that supported Rona McDaniel. Everyone wanted change. Now, nobody has an issue that Rona McDaniel is some kind of evil person. I don't believe she is. I believe, though, that she is part of the establishment. She's been around too long as far as the establishment goes, and she's been ingrained in doing business as usual. It's not working. Think about where we are. 2018, we lost the House. 2020, we lost everything. 2022, we won the House, but we should have really steamrolled the House, and we should have taken back the Senate, which we didn't do. That means we're on a real losing track since she took over. I don't like being on a losing track. I like being on a winning track. Something has got to change when you talk about all of this. So how does Rona McDaniel get 111 votes and Harmy Dillon only get 54 votes when everyone, every Republican voter I talked to said it was time for change? Under her watch, Democrats instituted a mail-in ballot scheme. That may be even worse than losing when you talk about the House and the Senate and all these things. The fact that we now have a junk mail-in ballot scheme across the country under Rona McDaniel's watch is serious trouble, very serious trouble. And so the reason it is is because the Democrats are rigging the system. Now, let's tell you how out of touch they are how how elitist they are. This meeting that went on, do you know where it is? It's at the Waldorf Astoria Monarch in California, one of the most expensive resorts in America. You're lucky if you get a room for $1,000 a night down there on Dana Point. Now, it's a beautiful hotel, but why is the Republican Party holding an event there? And then I went back and I looked at what Red State did. Red State went and looked at some of the expenses that the Republican Party, under Rona McDaniel's leadership, was spending money on. Take a look at this. $3.1 million on private jets, okay? $1.3 million on limousine and chauffeur services. $17.1 million on donor mementos. $750,000 on floral arrangements. Now, you compare this to the Democrats. The Democrats spent $35,000 on private airfare, $1,000 on, on floral arrangements. A thousand, not 750,000, a thousand. And the one point, uh, excuse me, the 17.1 million they spent on donor mementos, the Democrats spent 1.5 million. Democrats know where to put the money. It's not giving donors gifts. Donors shouldn't want gifts. If you give money, give money. You don't need the fancy pin to put on your lapel.